Holidays are a time for gathering together with family and friends. Great food from the turkey to the ham to the sweets, but we also need a little something to wash it down with, a little treat to enjoy. And joining me with this festive holiday drink, we've got Chef Jonathan Rivera, Executive Chef of the Preston of Park Cities in Dallas. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for having us. And I'm really excited because for people who are not familiar with this recipe, mm -hmm. for many others, this is a tradition every holiday. Yeah, at least back home where it's Puerto Rico, mm -hmm. of course, and, and everybody has their own version of their own recipe. Um, um, but we're keeping it very basic today, and it's, it's going to be a straightforward coquito. Coquito. And so this is going to be something that is egg-free? Correct. It's an egg, eggless eggnog, if you would. Mm -hmm. um, it could be completely vegetarian if you prefer just 100% coconut milk, or uh, you can dilute it with a little almond milk, too, lactose-free as well. But in this version, we will use evaporated milk and condensed uh, So We're going to keep milk. it basic, but you said there's a lot of variations. Tons of variations. You could do uh, 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 pistachio, chocolate hazelnut. Um, some people don't actually ice cream want to, vanilla oh. ice cream. Uh, but so there's, there's thousands recipes out there but this is the most basic okay this looks very pretty too so um, yeah. let's get started tell me how to make it so we can serve this up yeah so all you need is a blender uh, you need a coconut milk mm -hmm. um, a can of coconut milk you need evaporated milk and sweetened condensed milk these are your your main ingredients mm -hmm. this is what's gonna do that then after that of course we're gonna spike it with rum yes. um, lots of it <laughs> 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 to keep you warm in the holidays, of course. So, and you can use spice rum. Uh, you can use uh, coconut liquor. Um, it, it, it doesn't matter. Some people put bourbon in there too, as well. Okay. Um, and then a little bit of shredded coconut just for texture. Okay. And I've actually bought a macadamia nut rum before. Yeah, absolutely. What, what would you? It, and it had kind of that holiday spice to it. Yeah. I mean, a, a, again, that's the idea. Where, yeah. I mean, you could use pecans, hazelnuts, pistachios, and it's always gonna give you that nutty. Um, festive holiday taste. I'm actually really glad we're making this because I have not <laughs> used that stuff since like last <laughs> year. Absolutely. Okay, yeah. what else do we have? Uh, a little vanilla and then some spices. You put a little cinnamon. Um, I have a mixture here of cinnamon, clove, and nutmeg. Mm -hmm. uh, but some you could put just straight up cinnamon. Uh, and then just for garnish, a little bit of cinnamon sticks. And so after that, you're just putting it in the blender mm -hmm. and we've got it ready to go. We got it ready to and go. And then how did you sort of decorate the glasses? I'm sure it's as simple, yeah, but it absolutely. looks fancy. It's just like making our favorite here margaritas, right? So <laughs> you dip it in a little bit of the coquito as well. And then um, actually here, I have a little bit of gingerbread crumbs, gingerbread mm -hmm. uh, crumbs in there. And okay. then just basically just dip it in there and it will give you a little rim. Uh, you can use many variations, pecans. Uh, chopped up mints, if you like, for the holiday or being festive. Some people frost it with the coconut as well, too, on the outside. That looks very nice. Looks very fancy. <laughs> you know, and you were telling me that this is something um, that you, as a psalm and as a chef, that you really enjoy coming up with creative things, and you actually do a lot of infusing. Yeah, I do. Um, we, we do a lot of that at, at, in the property itself, but at home as well, I do a lot of that, whether it's... Um, uh, dry fruits mainly like apples. Uh, I've done papaya, pineapple. Uh, you get you know cinnamon. You can start putting star anise in some of them too. Um, let it infuse for a couple of months. A month or two is enough though. The longer the better. Ah. Um, but again, uh, it's just something nifty. You can actually make a cinnamon rum and then use it for that as well, or even coconut rum at home. Good idea. Okay, I didn't realize the longer the better. Yeah. Um, and so where can people find these recipes? Um, the recipes, I mean, pretty much they're accessible everywhere. There's a simple ingredients you can find everywhere. Okay. Um, again, coconut milk, evaporated milk, and sweetened condensed. Uh, they're used heavily throughout pastry, so um, they're not difficult to find. Shredded coconut, vanilla, nutmeg, cinnamon. So There's this really cool search tool. Google is great, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. But we're going to post this segment for you at WFA.com <laughs> so that you can make sure that you hear and see everything that you had to say so that folks can enjoy a festive holiday treat. Absolutely. Thank you, and Merry Christmas.